Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Soumya Jaitley from University of Oxford. I'm here to present my work on end-to-end -end saliency mapping via probability distribution prediction. It is a joint work with Nyla Murray and Eleonora Wick while at Xerox Research Center Europe. So the task here basically is to predict the saliency landscape. Given an input image, we want to predict a heat map that highlights the regions that human will attend to at a quick glance of the image. Uh, as we know, saliency has been widely used for tasks such as generating image thumbnails for fine grain action recognition. And in what we observed over the past few days, it has been used in visual question answering and image captioning. Uh, traditionally, these attention maps were generating using psychophysical cues such as center surroundedness or contrast. But with the advent of very large scale saliency data sets such as Salicon, the community has moved towards using deep nets to generate these attention maps. And it is in this area that uh, the existing approaches model it as a classification or regression task, while our approach revisits saliency as a stochastic process and tries to predict it as a probability distribution. So the contributions are a few. An efficient end-to-end -end deep architecture for predicting saliency maps as probability distributions. If you use a VGT net, the first part of the pipeline pre-trained on ImageNet dataset. If you use a series of convolutions which are used to blow up the effective receptive field, because saliency is a global property and uh, not likely a local one. Um, at the end, we do a bilinear interpolation followed by softmax normalization. This entire model, instead of being trained using regression losses such as Euclidean or Huber, are in a novel framework trained using probability distances such as chi-square, total variation, cosine distance, bhattacharya, and we also compare it with KL divergence that has very recently been used to pre-train to train such models for attention. Uh, these are the convergence plots on the Salicon validation set while being trained on the train set. As we see, the models that are trained on probabilistic losses uh, consistently outperform the ones that are trained on Euclidean or Huber loss. And another interesting thing to observe is that the Bhattacharya distance based models are the leading ones across all the four uh, performance measures, which include AUC chart, uh, shuffled AUC, normalized scan path saliency, and uh, the correlation coefficient. A brief moment to kind of view the plots. And moving on, these are the results. We've compiled results on four experimental data sets. Uh, two of the results are presented here on the Salicon test data set and on the OC data set and phone cross validation. Um, we are also ranked third amongst the 59 approaches that have been tested on the MIT benchmark. Uh, this is as per the SAUC ranking. So to conclude, uh, we uh, revisit saliency as a stochastic process and we observe that the probability distance-based loss functions are much more effective as opposed to classification or regression losses, which are suboptimal for this task. A uh, quick look at the qualitative uh, results, we see that our approach quickly narrows down to the regions of uh, semantic meaningfulness, such as the traffic lights, the faces of people and other creatures in the images. If you're interested in our work, please check out our poster number 49. Thank you so much for your attention.